Hey guys! In this week's haul, I found a few more designs of the socks. Last week, I had hauled three other designs, so if you want to see what those look like, go ahead and check those out. This week, I found some lacy ones with a pink bow. They also had a similar design with a white bow. These are ankle socks in a size small. Also in a size small are these no-show socks in a dark purple, a lavender, and light blue at the toes and the heels. And this last design is a medium bag. I think these are regular length socks with a red or green stripe at the top and red or green at the toes and heels. I think in last week's haul I had talked about the So Natural dried fruit. Got me thinking about the banana chips again, so I picked these up. Found another box of the True Lemon, and they also had the True Lime this time. These come 12 packets per box. Now, if you drink these a lot, it is probably a better value to buy them at Walmart or Kmart. I like to have these on hand for when I run out of the real fruit. Found a big... 32 ounce refill of the spa soap antibacterial kind. I have not tried this before, but I have seen the white version at the Dollar Tree. And I remember Kathy of No Guts, No Glory saying that that was really good. So I'm hoping this works out as well. Another Barbie detangler for the boo. She likes this. After some looking around for a while, I finally found the Kobe earbuds. I only found one color in green, but I know that people out there have hauled several different colors. So happy to find these because I actually prefer the ones that don't go inside the ear canal and I am constantly, constantly losing these. Also saw these Lawless Jerky next to the Asian smoked barbecue ones. I have tried both. I thought the Asian pork barbecue ones weren't too bad. They weren't as dry as a lot of jerky can be. This one though was kind of dry. It just depended on the piece that you got. My husband thought it was spicy, but I didn't really think it had the mango habanero taste. It is 100% grass-fed beef, all natural, no preservative, no nitrates, no nitrites, which is nice because you don't typically see that with most jerky. Would I buy these again? No. There were good and not so good pieces in here, so it just kind of depends. So buy these at your own risk. I also tried the Old Dominion Sea Salt Brittle. There were several different kinds of the small packets of Old Dominion candies. This is the brand that produced the boxes of peanut brittle and the chocolate covered peanut brittle during the holidays. I did think this was pretty good so if you'd like to try it give it a whirl. And finally after a long time I've been looking ever since last summer when Deb gave me her microfiber socks so that we could go do Zumba in Chicago. I finally finally found one pair. I assume though that this is kind of an old design. Even though it is Dollar Tree, I didn't see any other of these in the store. They also had a ton of this Vaseline Lip Therapy Advanced Healing. I'll be using this for the boo. I was hoping to find a chloroseptic spray that could numb my throat because when I had a sore throat this past fall. I really, really needed it. Still have not been able to find one, but they did have Sepacol sore throat lozenges. They come 16 to a box and they do have benzocaine, which is the ingredient that I was looking for. A bonus size of the Ajax lavender dish soap with 25% extra. And it looks like some of the Madison Street mustards have come back to the Dollar Tree. I bought these last year. These ones don't expire until May of 2017. Another Fruit of the Loom t-shirt. This is a size small for my daughter for one of her school projects. They had this Asian hot sauce I wanted to try called Lingham's Hot Sauce. And thanks to everybody's comments at the last haul, I had a lot of people tell me they liked this Tony Cheshire's Original Creole Seasoning. I probably just butchered that name. And they were totally right. I've tried this on a couple of salads and also in omelets and I thought it was really very good. I'm not exactly sure how long these will be in my Dollar Tree, so I decided to pick up a couple more canisters. Also bought the West Soy 
plain low-fat soy milk. This is a standard in our household. Decided to give this a try. This is the Kraft Mayo Steakhouse Flavored Reduced Fat Mayonnaise. Bought a few Easter items. My daughter is totally into things like hats and headbands and bows. So I bought two of the headbands. This one is like a ladybug, sort of, and a butterfly. I don't do a ton of decorating for Easter, but I'm going to do what I did for Valentine's Day and just take little things like this to decorate the standard decor that goes around my house almost all year round. So this is a pack of four egg picks and a pack of 10 smaller ones. Unfortunately, I think when they manufacture these, they put them out really, really quickly. So sometimes there'll be chips in the eggs or the paint will be just a little bit weird. So keep an eye out for that. And then a few things for the Easter basket. We only do a small one. This is a three pack of the coconut eggs, a milk chocolate bunny, and two of the Russell Stover marshmallow big bunnies. Also picked up two of these ceramic painting sets, one for my nephew, one for my boo. Thought this would be a nice activity to go in their Easter baskets. As part of a fine motor activity for Easter, I'm going to put these egg tongs in my daughter's basket. She'll have a lot of fun with these. So that is it for this haul. Let me know what goodies you have found lately and I hope everybody has a fantastic week. Thanks so much for watching and take care.